Hello students, we shall now solve this sequencing problem. The question is, the processing times of two machines of six jobs are given as follows. Now, six jobs are given here. This is a two machine problem. So, we have two machines here and the processing times are given. They are asking us to calculate the total time elapsed and the idle times for machine 1 and machine 2. So, first what we have to do is we have to find the job sequencing. That is the order in which the jobs has to be performed that we have to find. That is our first step. Now, how many jobs are here? There are six jobs. So, we have to figure out six boxes first and we have to write mission 1 to the left and mission 2 on the right. So, this is we have to write like this. Now, we, we shall find the sequence of the jobs in which it has to be performed. For which, first we have to search for the minimum value out of all these processing times. Now, if we check here, uh, 1 is the minimum value out of all the processing times. But, there are two ones here. Now, what to be done when in such cases, when we have repeated values? Let us see that now. The first step is, if we have re repeated values, then we have to check whether those two values are in the different mission or same mission. So, now if you see, this one is from mission 1 and this one is from mission 2. They are under two different missions. Then this can be sorted out very easily. Now if you see under mission 1, the job to be performed, the, one corres the job corresponding to this one is 6. So what we have to do, we have to write that 6 under mission 1. So job 6 we have to write here. Now for the other one, we could see that it is under mission 2 and the corresponding job is 3. So job 3 has to be written under mission 2. So, we have to write job 3 over here. And after doing so, we have to strike off both the jobs because both are done. So, job 6 and job 3 are striked off. Now, uh, we have understood how to sort out when they are in two different missions. Next, we shall check for the next least value of the processing times. Now, if you see out of the remaining processing times, there are three least values that is 2. So, 2 is the least and there are three values of 2. So, now we have to sort out these. Uh, how, to, how to sort out this now? Now, we have to check. These two are from mission 1 and this two is from mission 2. So, this two, the job corresponding to this two is job 4 and this ha job 4 has to be written under mission 2. So, that can be sorted out easily because this is, this is in a different mission. So, we had three twos out of which two twos were from one mission and one of the two was from mission 2. So, this was alone in mission 2 and the job corresponding to it is 4 and that 4 has to be written under mission 2. Now, after writing that, we can strike that uh, the job. Now, the other two, two twos are, are from the same mission. Now, how to sort out this? Now, if we have to check the job corresponding to this 2 is 1 and the job corresponding to this 2 is 5. Now, we will have a doubt whether to write 1 here or 5 here. So, which has to be written first? So, in that case, what we have to do? We have to check the corresponding value from mission 2. Now, for this 2, the corresponding mission 2 value is 6. And for this 2, the corresponding mission value is 3. We have to check which is the highest. Out of 6 and 3, which is the highest? 6 is the highest. So, this, this 1 has to be written first. So, the 1 which gives the highest value, the corresponding value in mission 2 gives the highest. This 1 has to be written. But where this 1 has to be written? It has to be written under mission 1 only because the least value 2 was from mission 1. And the other least value 2 is also from mission 1. And this 5 has to be written here. Hope you have uh, no doubts here. Hope it is clear.
I will just say this once again for you. We have checked for the next uh, least value. There were three twos. So one of the, we have one of the two was from the, from different mission, and these two were two twos were from the same mission. So how we sorted out first from mission two, there was only one two, and it was under job four, and we wrote job four under mission two. Now these two twos were under mission one only from the same mission. So the jobs corresponding to it were one and five. So we had a doubt which one to write first. Okay, so in that case, what we have to do, we have to check for the corresponding values from mission two. The one which is highest, that job has to be written first, and the, the next. Uh, value has to be that job has to be written next, but the both have to has to be written under mission one only because the least value two appeared in mission one. Hope you have understood it and the left out and after this we have to strike off the as the uh, these two as uh, these two jobs are done. The only job left out is two and we have the only box left out here and that fills here. So the job two fills here. Okay, so this is the order in which the jobs has to be performed. Six, one, five, two, four, three. Fine. Now next we have to calculate the total elapsed time for which we have to draw the table. Now to find the total elapsed time, we have to draw this table where the jobs has to be written in the order that we have found. The sequence in which the jobs has to be performed. So that we have to write first. Now we have to find the time in and time out for mission A first. And after completing this, we have to do it for mission B. Okay, let us see that now. Now remember, always the time in for the first job to be performed will be zero. So here we have to write 0. Then under mission A, job 6, the processing time is 1. So if we see here for job 6 under mission 1, the processing time is 1. So the 0 has to be added to that 1. And so we will be having 0 plus 1. And so the answer will time out will be 1. Okay. Now after this. This time out we have to write here. So it is 1. Now this 1 has to be added to the processing time. So 1 plus the processing time of job 1 under mission 1. So for job 1 under mission 1 it is 2. So it has to be added to this 1. So 2 plus 1 which is 3. Now the time out of this has to be written here. And this 3 has to be Add it to the processing time of job 5 under mission 1 which is 2. So that uh, we have to do here. So this 3 plus 2. So that will be 5. And now next the time out for I mean uh, the time in for the job 2 will be this 5. So that 5 we have to write. And this 5 has to be added to the processing time of job 2 in mission 1. So for job 2, the processing time in mission 1 is 5. So this has to be added to this 5. So this will be 10. Next, the time in for job 4 will be this 10. So the 10 we have to write here. Now this 10 has to be added to the processing time of job 4 in mission 1. For job 4 in mission 1, the processing time is 3. And so that has to be added to this. And so this will be 13. And so this 13 will be the time in for job 3. And the processing time of job 3 under mission 1 is 4. So this 4 has to be added to this 13. So 13 plus 4. And the time out for this will be 17. Now next we shall evaluate the time in and time out for mission B. The time in for mission B will be the time out of mission A for job 6. So what will, here we will have this one. So we have to write this one. And for job 6 under mission B the processing time we have to check. It is 5. So for job 6 under mission 2 the processing time is 5. So that 5 has to be added to this one. So we will be having 1 plus 5 and the time out will be 6. Now we have to check the time out uh, whether this is greater or this is greater out of 3 and 6 6 is greater and so that 6 we have to write here and the processing time for job 1 under mission 2 for job 1 under mission 2 is 6 so that 6 has to be added to the 6 and so we will be getting this as 12 and now again we have to check whether this 12 is greater or 5 is greater 
so now 12 is greater so that the greater value only we have to take as time in over here so uh, for job 5 under mission B so for job 5 under mission uh, B that is mission 2 is 3 so the 3 has to be added to this 12 so it should be I mean uh, 12 plus 3 and so that will be 15 now next the time in for this we have to check whether 10 is greater or 15 is greater 15 is greater so we have to write 15 and the, the processing time for job 2 in mission 2 is 8 so if you see here it is 8 so that 8 has to be added to this 15 so we will have 15 plus 8 and that will be 23 now we have to check whether 23 is greater or 13 is greater 23 is greater so we have to write 23 here and the processing time for job 4 and mission 2 is 2 so we have to add 2 to this 23 so 23 plus 2 and so we will get 25 now this 25 will be the we have to check 25 is greater or 17 is greater which is greater 25 so the 25 only we have to write so whatever is greater out of these two values only we should check and we have to write now this uh, the processing time of job 3 under mission 2 is 1 so for job 3 under mission 2 is 1 so that 1 has to be added to this 25 so 25 plus 1 and so that will be 26. So therefore this 26 gives us the total elapsed time. So this is the total elapsed time. And uh, the time this one this 25 is the time consumed by mission B and uh, this 17 is the time consumed by mission A. So here it is mission 1 and mission 2. Okay. So this is time consumed by mission 1 and this is time consumed by mission uh, this is for mission 2 and this is only mission 1 ok now we shall conclude the problem so therefore the total elapsed time is 26 hours so we have to write that here 26 hours and the idle time for mission 1 is equals to total elapsed time mi minus time consumed by m1 so the total elapsed time is 26 minus time consumed by m1 mission 1 is 17 and so that is equal to 9 hours so similarly we have to find the idle time for mission 2 so the idle time for mission 2 will be total elapsed time minus time consumed by mission 2 and so that is equal to 26 and the time consumed uh, by mission 2 is 25 so 26 minus 25 and so that is equal to 1 hour. So therefore the total elapsed time is 26 hours and then the t idle time for mission 1 is 9 hours and idle time for mission 2 is 1 hour. So we have uh, found all the 3 answers. Hope you have understood this problem. This is a significant problem in examination point of view. Thank you.